Hey guys, this is Justin, aka Bike and Bird, one of your hosts here at MotorcycleDestinations.com. And today we are at River Road here in New Braunfels, Texas. And this is why you should make River Road your next motorcycle destination. If you're ever in or around the New Braunfels area, then River Road is a must ride route for any rider. This short and sweet 11 mile ride can take you anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes because it truly is like a box of chocolates depending on what season and what day you visit, which is one of my favorite traits about this particular route. In the summer months, especially on a holiday weekend, the road gets packed with party goers looking to turn up and cool down as the dam fed Guadalupe River stays a crisp 63 degrees. But once the leaves and temperatures Temperatures start to fall, the area becomes a ghost town, essentially giving you this picturesque road all to yourself. On our MD difficulty scale, I'm giving River Road a 2 out of 5. The speed limit is only 20 miles per hour, but there are a couple turns that do require your attention. A hefty percentage of the road just received a complete repave and is incredibly smooth, and the parts that weren't redone are still very well maintained. You'll gently weave along the Guadalupe River with multiple river crossings, a hefty amount of tree coverage, and only 15 feet of elevation change from start to finish. Like I mentioned earlier, traffic can be completely hit and miss depending on seasonality, but even at its heaviest, it's never stop and go. My personal favorite time for this route is either late spring or early fall. This puts you in that perfect window of not being too hot, but still having a lot of the amenities still open. Speaking of amenities, this route has a lot to mention. Gas stations can be found at both the north and south ends of the route, but in between you'll only find general stores with no gas pumps. There's also very few restaurants or bars on the route itself but are plentiful in the surrounding areas. Photo stops and lookouts are also very sparse due to all of the property being private but you can sneak one in here or there if you can be quick and find a shoulder big enough for your bike. The area where this road really shines is the lodging. You won't find much in terms of hotels but you'll find tons of other options. Everything from tent camping to luxury vacation rentals, RV parks, and even teepees. I will remind you though that this area is very seasonal and some places do not offer any stays during the off-season winter months. Now, I will admit that I'm a bit nostalgic for River Road. I camped here many a summers as a kid and even announced the gender of my firstborn while on this route. But my bias aside, I truly believe that River Road would make a great destination for anyone on two or three wheels. If you'd like to see more videos on River Road, check out my personal channel, which I've linked down in the description below. And remember that MotorcycleDestinations.com is putting out a new destination every single day. So if you'd like to see more, click right here. I've been your host, Justin, aka Bikenbird, and I'll see you at the next destination.